Hey guys, Garner here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Daisy. It's a really popular mod right now, it's come, become popular over the last couple of months. It's a mod for Armour 2, and uh, basically I want to show you guys how to install it. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, please leave a like rating, or some constructive criticism, criticism or positive uh, uh, comments for that matter, in the comments section below. But anyway, let's move on to it. I would advise searching combined operations on the Steam Store instead of buying the game separately. To reiterate, you do need Armour 2 and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead, and you do launch it from Operation Arrowhead. So uh, it does save you a few quid or a few dollars or whatever your currency is instead of buying them separately. Um, so yeah, I recommend doing that. Bear in mind, it's a few gigabytes. I do believe the Armour 2 on its own is about 19 gigabytes. So uh, be advised, it may take a while if you have a slow connection. Now, once you've installed that, do run the game twice, and uh, then you'll be able to uh, install the mod correctly. So make sure you run Armour 2 and Ar Armour 2 uh, Operation Arrowhead both, and then you'll be able to do this correctly. A lot of people miss out on that, but the files do need to be installed for this to work. Anyway, onto the download page. The mod, the uh, mod link will be in the description. Everything I talk about will be in the description, guys, so make sure you check that out. Basically, go to this, go to the download page, I'm already on it, but I'll just show you what I'm doing in case uh, you get a little bit lost or whatever. Uh, there is six update, I'll, I'll explain this just for the whole, you know, the fact of the, the video being full and everything is included. Basically, this is a program, you run it, and uh, it does say that it chooses a random server uh, if you do the quick play, but basically that means it finds a server with the least ping in your area. Uh, I would use this if you do, you know you don't you don't want any hassle. You just want to run this program and then run uh, the game. I personally prefer to use torrents, so I did it this way. But that way, technically, it is simpler. That's why it's recommended. But anyway, I downloaded it using torrents, so I'm going to show you this way. But uh, again, that way is more simple. Uh, so if you install it via torrent, you get these files, and uh, basically all you need to do is copy them and create this folder like this. It's the it has to be. Um, you have to have the capitals correctly in the lower cases, and then again in that folder, create another folder called add-ons. And then in this folder, you just paste the files, and that's um, pretty much done once you've done that. And moving on, so basically when you're done and you've got everything ready, all you need to do is go on your games library, click on Operation Arrowhead, properties, and then enter this uh, in set launch options. I will put that in the description so you can basically copy it over. It's as simple as that. And once you've done that, it's as simple as launching the game. You right click and you have to launch combined operations instead of just clicking play game. Uh, do bear in mind that combined operations is technically separate from Operation Horrorhead, so make sure you do that. It's as simple as that, guys. Uh, I pretty much hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed playing this game. Definitely going to be doing some more videos on it soon, and uh, I'll show you a love an another few quick tips if I do find them before rendering this video out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this great game runs well for you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like rating, as I explained earlier. If not, uh, then just thanks for watching anyway. I'll see you guys later.